exposed, again, ring vaccination. We also have antivirals. We have a very good antiviral, Sitovavir, that works against smallpox and against monkeypox, which is milder, milder by far than smallpox. And the, sp the strain we're talking about here is the milder of the two strains. I'm not trying to diminish this, but I don't see another pandemic coming from this at all. Um, are there precautions, though, that are basic precautions even that Americans can take to protect themselves if they're concerned? Yes, because this does live on surfaces. It's a more stable virus than the, uh, than the one for COVID. And if you've been in close contact with somebody that had this, again, it, it doesn't transmit as easily, but it does transmit by saliva. It does transmit on surfaces potentially and sexually transmitted. You would need to, to be isolated for weeks because the, the amount of time be bef between exposure and getting sick from this is weeks. And what you're on the lookout for is swollen lymph nodes, fatigue, flu symptoms, and then that characteristic rash. But this would be close exposure, Julian. We're not talking about breathing the same air. We're talking about very close exposure. And that's where contact tracing comes in. And the CDC has an excellent division of disease detectives that go around the country checking on this. So they're unparalleled and they're involved. Hopefully they are, you know, well-versed. They are, have had a lot of practice doing contact tracing the last couple of years. Dr. Siegel, we got to leave it there. Thank like, comment, subscribe to the new one on the channel. Monkeypox is a new scare tactic in America. Y'all get ready. Keep your mask on, man. Keep washing your hands. And watch out for nasty women and nasty men. Whatever you do, be careful. Wear protection. Y'all niggas going to be out here looking like a... They're going to have bumps all over your damn body, nigga. Like, comment, subscribe, new mother channel, we out.